Hello, my name is Colin O'Flynn, and I've designed this simple board for playing with digital logic, and particularly learning about hardware digital logic design. And you may say, that's fine, but I already have a Raspberry Pi, or I already have an Arduino. But what these are doing is teaching you about software, and you're programming them. So, what my board's doing is it's showing you how to program with hardware. So with software, you're executing sequential statements one by one. With hardware, you're really doing everything at once. So you're designing hardware that's doing adds and multiplies or whatever else you need. So you can do a thousand operations in a single clock cycle. And what you'll learn with this board, you can apply to more advanced boards. For example, this $90 board, um, it, you can design a CPU for it and you can actually run Linux on the CPU and you can even get pre-designed ones. So there's a lot of power here that you have access to. So let's look at some more details of this board in particular. The Binary Explorer, or Bora board, provides you with this nice breadboard, which you can use like a normal one, and it has these 5 volt and 3.3 volt power rails. So you can build up a circuit that you've designed, and you can use some of the switches on the one side, or the LEDs on the other, to give inputs and see outputs. So for example, if I want to connect one of these LEDs to the power rail, just to turn it on, we would just put a wire from there to this LED connector. To power it, we just use the USB connector, and it's all very simple. But what gives this board real power is on the back side. So there's this programmable logic device. And with it, you can design a circuit on your computer and download it. And you're downloading it to real hardware. So it's just like building the circuit where you stole those switches you're using. And it's all done. The download's over USB, as we said there. This makes it really easy because you plug it in, provided power, as we say. And then that chip is actually downloading the program. So here we have a simple counter example. You can see it counting up, and there's also some switches affecting the LEDs. Beyond just designing some programs and downloading it, the other thing you can do is you can use this breadboard. And for example, we may want to mount some software modules. Maybe we have an Arduino. Here I have an embed as an example. And you can combine those with your hardware design. You can even mount like a raw AVR here. And as I mentioned, there's this programming module, and you can actually program other devices. It has JTAG support built in, and we're adding support for the AVR programming. With something like that, you could even design in the Arduino environment. So what does the hardware environment look like? So we're doing hardware design. So there's the board we're using again. And when you open it up in this software, the Xilinx ISE Webpack, you get this view and you can see to the left there's the switch connections and to the right there's the LEDs, the bottom right there's the seven segment displays and you get gates just like you would expect, so AND gates, OR gates and all these different things. You can just wire them up, draw a schematic and have your completed design. We also provide some more advanced parts um, that are not part of the standard library. So for example there's this counter and there's this seven segment display driver and you can just wire these up pretty easily and then have this counter design that we showed running in the first few slides there. So it's making digital design be sort of fun and pretty easy, but the cool thing is you're using this really advanced software that's actually used in industry for even more advanced projects. So once that's done, you'll just download it. So I had the design, it's now downloading. And it's actually being implemented in hardware now. So I can unplug this board and take it around, power it up somewhere else. And that same program is still running. So how do you learn how to do all this stuff? Well, the really cool part about this whole project is there's all these Creative Commons licensed slides, Creative Commons licensed lectures. There's, you know, you're seeing a whole bunch of them on the screen there. Uh, they're also on YouTube, as I'll show later. So you're getting more than just a board. You're getting all this documentation. So there's just a few of the slides. And you can go through them yourself. You can use them in a classroom. There's some of the lecture examples. So there's just this huge range of documentation that's available to you. And so we can see there's one lecture, for example. And some of the lectures even include lab material. So this is showing you with that board, you can see in the corner, how exactly you do stuff. This is posted to a website, and you can check it out yourself. It's linked from the Kickstarter. So I hope you'll see this project. It's more than just a board. It's a way to get started in digital logic. And I hope you'll back us and make this project such a success.